Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this part. And when you look at it, it looks a little bit complicated, but it is actually simple. All you have to do is create it feature by feature. It's kind of like a puzzle. And before you know it, you'll have everything. So let's start a new part file and click OK. I'm going to change the units to millimeter. So under settings, document properties, units, millimeter, and I will change my image quality too. Just going to improve it and click OK. Looking at this piece, some of the dimensions you can create, like for example, we can start with this back feature because its dimension is referencing some other feature. So what we have to do is determine what feature we need to create first, create that feature, so we can use that feature to reference the dimension for the next feature, if that makes sense. But I'll show you. Looking at this, we'll start with this feature first, the shape. So on the right plane, select sketch. I'm just going to move this here. Draw a circle. Right. And draw a line that is tangent to that circle. So from the top quadrant of that circle, draw a line something like this all right now let's um select this line and the circle holding down the control key add a tangent relation and we will do the same thing for the one on the bottom select the line and the circle and add a tangent relation now we'll use the trim tool i'm using trim to closest i'm going to trim the excess out and we should have something like this now let's add the dimension, the distance from the center point to the back is 28. And that is given right here. The radius is 20. And that is given right here. And um, just a second, let me, so let me see my line. I'm just going to, to fix that. I'm just going to click select that line and add the horizontal relation. So everything should be fully defined. So just in case if your line is blue, make sure you have a horizontal relation. I have a fully defined sketch. I'm going to come to feature and extrude. Now this feature we just drew is right here. This is where our plane is on this side. So we are extruding it this way and the distance is, if you look down is 40. So type in 40 as your dimension and we are extruding it to the right and click. Okay. Good. Now let's click normal two. So you are looking at it from this view and this is what we're looking at right here. The next thing we need to do is we can draw this feature over here. And that is this feature that looks like the L shape. So to draw that, make sure you are in this view. Click on this side of your part and select sketch number two. And now we can draw our L shape. So we'll start at that point. Draw a line going down something like this. And just draw something like that. Now holding down the control key, select this edge and press convert entity. Select that edge. You don't have to hold down the control key, select that edge and convert entity. And now we can add a relation. So holding down the control key, select that line, that line and that edge and add a tangent relation. And now I'm just going to drag it up. Then I'll use my trim tool and I will trim trim to closest now trim this off and that off next I'm going to add my dimension the back part the dimension is 70 and that is given right here the height is 20 and that is given right here and the length of this is 90 and that is given right there we have a fully defined sketch. It looks something like this. Come to your feature, extrude. 
and we want to extrude it 10, a distance of 10, but let's change the dimension to 10 here. And we are not extruding it in this direction, we are extruding it in. Remember, we're starting, we draw our sketch right here and we want to extrude it this way. So flip the direction and click OK. Next, we want to draw this piece over here, this little piece sticking out. And to draw that, let's select this back face and sketch. I'm going to go normal to just move it like this. And I'm going to start a line from here to that point, just something like this, right? Then I'm going to add my dimension. The only dimension we need to add here is the length from here to there, but it's not given. But if you look at this piece, the distance is 90. And from here to the center of that circle is 80, meaning that from the center point to this edge is 10. And since the circle is centered, that means from here to here will be 10, making the total distance 20. It's just an educated guess. Sometimes when you design, you have to um, just look at it and see what makes sense. But let's make it 20. And I'm certain that's the right dimension. We'll make it 20. And now we can extrude it 17. So I'll come to feature, extrude. We are going to flip the first. Let's change the dimension to 17. This and flip the direction in and click OK. Good. Next, we are going to cut that circle in it. To do that again, let's select this face and sketch. Number two, move it here. We're just going to draw a circle. And sometimes if you want to make sure you are doing this right, and just to reference the hidden line they, they gave you, you can click on this part and come down and select this, not that, uh, this one. And you can see so far we are designing it correctly. We have our hidden line right there. And we also have this hidden line right there. Good. Now I'm just going to go back to the different view. Let's um, add a dimension to this from the back part to the center point of that circle. It is 80. And from the center point of that circle to this origin point, because the origin point, remember, we started this part right there. So that's where our origin point is. And that is going to be 40. Now we just need to add a dimension for our circle and the diameter is 10. Good. We have a fully defined sketch again, feature, extrude cut this time and we will select up to next and click OK. Good. So the next thing we need to draw now is this back piece, this little piece right here. To do that, let's select this back face and click sketch, normal two and press normal two again. So when you press your normal two, make sure you are on the, you are looking at it from the front and your origin point is right here. Um, cause I want you to follow along the same way I'm doing it. Now let's start by just drawing a line up here. So I will hover over here until I can select that top edge, select that, holding down the control key, select your line and have the collinear relation. So it puts that line on that top edge, or you could have just clicked the point and draw it. Next, we can add some dimension. The distance from this edge, this edge to that end of that line is 45. Let's add that. And the entire distance from this side to this edge is 116. Good. Next, we'll draw the next part coming down right and coming down and the distance is 70 which is right here it's the same distance as this so we could either because we already defined the 70 here we can just click this edge 
click this point and um, no, click this point and also click this point and add the horizontal relation. So if I dimension this, it's 70. So that's the best way to do it. So you don't have to, doing it this way, you don't have to have two different dimensions in different features when you only need to have one. So every time you update your dimension here, this part would update with it too. Good. Now let's um, draw this part. And it looks like this. And again, there's a line here, right? This line and this edge, select the edge, holding down the control key, select this line and add a collinear relation because they are on each other. As given right here, they are on each other. Good. Let's add some dimension. The distance between this edge and this part is six is given here. See, this is what I mean by you couldn't get the dimension of this, this piece without drawing this first. So we give that six. That is fully defined. This edge goes all the way here. So you can select that point and just drag it to this part until you make it coincident with that. Or you can click it, click this line and add a coincident. It will give you the same. Now we need to draw it coming down. So we'll draw it coming down until it touches this edge again. Right? Just making sure I don't have any extra line in there. Then again, we will draw another line from here coming out. And we are pretty much done with this. So draw the lines sticking down and I'll just trim that excess off. We have a fully defined sketch. We can add the circle now. Let's add the circle, two circles on each side. Select, holding down the control key, select both circles. Make it equal to each other. And also click the center point of each circle, holding down the control key and add the horizontal relation. Now we add the dimension from the center point of that circle to this. And it's going to be 86. And that is given right here. From the edge to the center point of this circle, from this edge to the center point of this circle is 30. Right? And from the center point of this circle to our origin point is 30 as well. So that'll be 30. Now we just need the dimension for our circle and the diameter is 14. Okay, and we have a fully defined sketch. Everything looks good. You should have something like this. Now come to the feature, extrude, and make sure you are not extruding it back. First, we are going to change the dimension and the distance is eight. So make sure you are not extruding it back but you are extruding the, in the other direction. So change this to eight and flip the direction. So it's going in and click OK. So we are almost done. The next thing we need to do is we can cut our hole in here. So select this face, sketch. Number two, we know our hole is going to be where our origin point is. I can flip it in the other direction so you can see. So our hole is right here because it's concentric to this edge. So draw a circle in there. And add the dimension. The dimension is going to be, um, I believe I can't see this very well. Let me just 16. So it's going to be 16. Now all we have to do is come to feature, extrude cut, and it's going to be up to next and click OK. We'll have the last cut, which is right there on the top. To do that, select the top face and sketch number two. So make sure you are in this view. 
I'm going to draw a circle somewhere up here. The diameter of that circle is eight. And that is given right here. The distance from the edge, this edge, which is right here to the center of that circle is 18. From this edge to the center of the circle is 18. And if you look right here, the center of the circle is also centered at the origin point. So this line is horizontal to the origin point and it's given right here. I know it's kind of like tricky, but you just have to think about it. So let's click on the center point of this circle and our origin point and now the horizontal relation. We have a fully defined sketch. It looks something like that. Come to feature, extrude cut, and it is going to be up to next and click OK. So now we are done with this part. All we have to do is just add our fillets. Again, to just make sure we did everything right, I'll select the hidden line. So let me go to the uh, front view, right? And you can see we have our hidden line right where they have this. And again, another hidden line right here. So we did everything right. And now, and if I flip it to this view, again, we have our hidden line right there on the top and right here. So everything looks good. And I'll change my view again. Now we just need to add our fillet. Select fillet. And the first fillet we are going to add is the one with the six radius. And this is this and that. So change the dimension to six and select all four corners. And select that edge too. And this edge. And that edge. The six is not, this is not six. So don't add it to that just there and here. And click OK. The next fillet we are going to add is the two. And it's pretty much around all this edge. So select fillet. Change the dimension to two. And I'm just going to start clicking here. There. That edge. Here. I'm back here. And that should add everything. And we'll do the same thing for this side. Select this part. Here. And that should add everything to and here. That should add everything. Good. And just making sure I have all the fillet where I want. But again, just go through it. Make sure. Okay. Yeah. Right here too. Made one right here. And in here. At the bottom. So make sure you go through it and add all the fillet where you need to. I believe we have everything covered now and click OK. And the last fillet we need to add is the four and that will be right here and there. So select fillet. The dimension is four. And that is given right here, there and there. So I'm going to select this edge. Oh no, not the face. I'll try that again going to zoom in, select that edge, select this edge four, and select this edge right here, four, right? Those are the three part. We have those, the four fillet and click OK. And we are done with this part. This is how you make it. I think we have everything. It looks good. And if you have any question, please leave a comment. And if you like it, please share and like and subscribe. Thank you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.